Leather is useful for a variety of items in Vintage Story. Most notably, it is the sole ingredient in producing the Leather Backpack, which has a whopping six slots, increasing your inventory space by 24. The Recurve and Longbow, which do greater damage and have far greater durability than their crude counterparts. The Sling, which if you're a Malefactor, or if you use this command, to remove class-exclusive recipes turns simple stones into deadly projectiles. Leather armor, which is a relatively good armor with no downsides in speed, making it an ideal suit for exploration. And the jerkin, which is the base ingredient for all higher tier metal armors. Leather working requires seven items, many of which you likely already have. One, a good supply of oak or acacia logs for making tannin. Two, a supply of borax, or either chalk, limestone, or marble. 3. A knife of any quality. 4. A hammer, or a kern. 5. A bucket to transfer large volumes of liquid. 6. A barrel to store your liquids and hides during preparation. 7. The hides themselves. You can use any size of hide to make leather. However, the amount needed to make a full batch increases as you use smaller sizes. You cannot mix different sized hides together. A full batch of leather is either 5 huge hides, 8 large hides, 12 medium hides, or 25 small hides. Hides can be acquired from any mammal killed in the game, and is dropped alongside their meat and bones when harvesting. The size of a hide depends on the size of the animal. Bears, for instance, always drop huge hides, while as rabbits always drop small hides. Borax or lime can be a greater challenge to locate. Since chalk and limestone are sedimentary rocks, they will typically appear at the surface of the biome they spawn in. This makes them the easiest to find, and also the largest volume compared to borax, which must be prospected for like ore. My personal recommendation is to gear up well and begin a long walk away from base in search of a biome with bone white rock at the surface. By default, your map will not have true colors turned on, but if it does, you can also use it to try and spot these biomes from a greater distance. Be advised though, this is a large undertaking. The desired stone may be thousands of blocks away, so be ready for a very long journey and consider building a road to this site on your way back. If you cannot locate limestone or chalk anywhere reasonable, you will have to prospect for borax. Borax only spawns in sedimentary rock, so locate a biome anywhere in your travels with either claystone, sandstone, shale, chert, conglomerate, or bauxite, and limit your searches there. Borax follows the same principles as the various ores I've described in earlier videos. Some players prefer prospecting for borax, others like to go on long journeys searching for giant biomes filled with limestone or chalk. It really comes down to personal preference which style of gameplay you prefer. Regardless, borax and lime represent the greatest challenge in resource collecting for leatherworking. Borax, limestone, or chalk must be crushed into powder to use in leatherworking. You can either crush them with a hammer in the crafting window, or throw them in a kern and grind them. We haven't touched on wind power yet, but if you've jumped ahead, you can power a kern with a windmill for automatic processing. Oak trees are fairly prolific and can be found in most forests occasionally spawning as rather large trees with huge amounts of logs. To process leather, you will need at least 15 logs. The barrel requires no metal, thankfully, and is crafted with four sticks and three boards. The bucket requires a single flex twine and five boards. Now that we have all of the ingredients, let's begin the process. Leather working mostly just takes time. There's a wait time between each step. Firstly, fill a barrel with 50 liters or 5 buckets of water. Next, add 50 lime, powdered limestone or chalk, or 20 borax to create a full barrel of either lime water or diluted borax. 
both work the same. Now we soak the hides. Simply right-click the barrel with an empty hand to open its inventory and place the hides within. An option to seal the barrel will appear, so seal it up. While we wait, let's produce our tannin. Hides must soak first in weak tannin, and then in strong tannin before finally coming out as leather. Since strong tannin is made using weak tannin, we need to make two full barrels of weak tannin, and then turn one of them into strong. Simply fill two barrels with 50 liters of water, and add five oak logs each, then seal. After 20 in-game hours, or 40 real minutes depending on if you sleep, the lime water barrel will unseal and you'll be left with soaked hides. Soaked hides must be turned into scraped hides. You can do so by placing them in your inventory with a knife. Do note though that this consumes durability, so some people prefer to use disposable stone knives to do this. After 24 in-game hours, the weak tannin will be ready and you can seal your scraped hides in one of the barrels. While we wait, we can concentrate the remaining barrel into strong tannin by adding five more logs and sealing that. The strong tannin will only take another 24 in-game hours to be ready. However, the scraped hides will take a full four days before they open. It may be to your advantage to build an entire barrel works shop and produce many barrels of tannin for the future, or simply distract yourself with other projects while you wait. When the scraped hides come out of the weak tannin, they will be prepared hides, which we will immediately reseal in the strong tannin. Finally, after another four and a half in-game days, you will have between 24 and 25 leather ready for crafting. Most players choose to make the leather backpack first, which is my own personal recommendation, as expanded inventory is a huge boon in all aspects of survival. We've taken another step forward in technology, but there were some moments here that could have benefited from automation and power, a trend that is unlikely to change. It's time to move on to wind power and mechanics, which will be my next video.